All right, Dr. Sissel here. <clears throat> if you were uh, walking down the street and me or somebody else walked up to you, if you remember um, walking down maybe in uh, Seattle or San Francisco or these types of places, random surveyors will come up and ask you questions, and I try to avoid them as much as possible. But let's just say that you felt compelled to answer the question. And the question I asked you was, what does the word health mean? What would you say? Um, if you think about that for a second, I think most of the time, and I've spoke to thousands and thousands of people from the stage and asked this question, it's it's that I eat right, that I exercise, and that I feel good because you and your, you only take your kids to the doctor when they feel bad. Um, across the board, that's pretty much the standard answer is that you get that you're sleeping well, you have good emotional stability. Um, and you know, a lot of people feel that way. So they think that if they feel fine, there's no need for them to um, do anything to take care of themselves. Like maybe they use that as motivation that I don't need to exercise because I, I look okay and you know I feel decently so I don't need to worry about anything. Well, there's a major, major problem with that idea. If you think about how many people can have uh, cancer ridden throughout their body and feel fine the whole time until a test reveals that they have a problem or 80% of the time someone finds out they have heart disease, it's that they have a heart attack. Um, we know that your body can have and it has the ability to compensate for major, major problems um, and can do that for a long period of time before it sort of breaks down or gives you that that uh, major situation or, or or problem. And so... You know, I gotta get you to understand that health has nothing to do with how you feel. Um, although nobody wants to feel bad, and I think that if you are healthy, one attribute would be that you do feel good. Although that's not across the board the case. I mean, you could have a runny nose and a fever, and you could be very healthy because your body's fighting something off. Although you might feel bad, so there's those ideas. Um, <clears throat> but at the end of the day. Health means that your body is functioning and healing at 100%, which means that your body is working at the capacity as best possible as it can. So it's functioning well, it's healing, even though it may have sim uh, symptoms of being sick. It's still doing very, very well on how it is working. Um, and we know that the body only will function and heal if the brain is able to communicate with the body 100%. So right, you know your brain controls every single thing that happens to you. So if your body, to, your heart to beat, your lungs to breathe for, if I uh, pull your little finger, the only reason you feel that is because your brain um, and the nervous system and the, the way the body works. So you got to make sure that your, that, your body, that your brain's being able to communicate with your body 100%. And if it is, then we know that you're functioning and healing at 100%. That is just a hundred percent fact. There's no, there's not a belief system. It's just the way that it goes. Well, for your brain to communicate with your body, it's got to send messages down the spinal cord and out the nerves. That's just how it goes. Well, your spinal cord is surrounded and protected by your spine, 26 individual vertebrae, your pelvis, all that stuff, which surrounds, protects the spinal cord and allows, if there is no interference in the vertebrae being shifted, allows then the brain to send messages out the nerves and then your heart will function at 100%, your lungs, your your uh, kidneys, your colon, your feet, whatever. Your body would function like it's supposed to. Well, what happens is if your spine shifts out of position, it'll pinch the nerve and shut off the ability for that nerve to send the information it needs to from the brain um, at 100%. And that will then cause, over a period of time, could be 15, 20, 30 years, you develop disease in that part of the body. There's just no question asked. This is how the body works. You look at any medical dictionary in the world, the brain and the nervous system control everything that happens in the human body. If the spine shifts or shifts out of position, this pinches the nerve, shuts off the ability for that organ to work correctly. This could result in something from headaches, neck pain, back pain, to heart disease, colon problems, kidney disease, um, Cancer would make sense to me. Um, immune system not functioning as well as it's supposed to. There's lots, of everything, everything in the world that could happen to the human body. If the brain's not able to allow the body to adapt and heal and function through whatever the issues are, then it's not going to do as well as it's supposed to. So, like, again, if your heart's only functioning at 80%, 
uh, because the nerve to the heart's pinched by 20%, it's going to show up the ability for the heart to work at full potential, which means 80% function over whatever, 15, 20 years, you're gonna break down. The heart's gonna break down, develop disease, whether it's a heart attack, uh, stroke, whatever it is. And so it's extremely important that you make sure that your body is functioning as well as it possibly can. The ability for you to digest food comes from your central nervous system for your brain and the, and the nerves. The ability for you to run and do everything, right? I mean, I just cannot make that more clear, I hope, that you understand nothing happens without it. Let's say you're into CrossFit or you're a wor- your person that works out and your pelvis is rotated and it's pinching a nerve and not allowing, if you will, the right leg musculature to get as much strength or innervation or work as well as it's supposed to as the left. You're going to start doing cleans and snatches and squats and it's not going to, you're not going to be symmetry. So you're going to be off balance and not able to uh, catch those weights as well as you should be. That's going to cause slow progression, if you will. Uh, strength will be inhibited, all that stuff. So whether I'm working with um, athletes, uh, fitness people, trainers, um, to the guy that, you know, works on the North Slope in Alaska, um, my objective always is let's see if your spine is in the right positions if it's in the s shape curves it's neck the mid back and lower back are in the proper curvatures to make sure it's straight up and down front to back if it's not we got to put it there that takes time and effort if it is we got to keep it there um my spine's perfect and i get to still get adjusted once a week because i do work out so much and i'm pretty pretty rough on my body i got to keep the thing motion and everything functioning as well as it can so now the reality is once we get your spine and your body functioning correctly and your your spine's in the right positions and you know you're at 100 percent function then we have to get you eating correctly and we have to get you moving and we have to get you sleeping well and we have to get you drinking enough water i mean all that stuff we're going to talk in the next few uh, weeks and all these videos that i'm going to make um, just to teach you about each gamut of this um, and each facet of your life and your health and all that. But it all begins with your spine being in the right position so your brain can control and communicate with your body at 100%. And if that's the case, then we know you're functioning correctly and we know that you have the best potential to live as long as you're supposed to live, full of energy, full of life, um, be over 100 or 90s or whatever it is with your third generation grandkids playing around. Um, No one said that we had to die at 74. Um, No one said that we were supposed to underlive our lives and be in our 60s and and low 70s and dwindling away in a nursing home. Um, You have the potential to have full energy, full life capacity, being able to do the things you wanna do. And it's just a matter of you taking care of yourself now, not when the problem happens. Problem happens a lot of the time and unfortunately, it's too late. And so do everything you can to um, watch these videos, subscribe to my channel. Uh, we're going to talk about all this stuff as we go. Next video, I'll give you about uh, there's three major things you got to do with your diet. And in the next video, we're going to talk about fat and why fat is such a big deal um, for you to be eating. Uh, and a lot of it. And I'll, and I'll explain why and which ones and all that stuff. Um, you can get a hold of me. I think my links are at the bottom of this page. Um, just subscribe, get a hold of me at drwaynesensilyahoo.com. If you have any questions, thanks a lot.